Not long ago, artificial intelligence was simply a buzzword in the world of technology, from subjects related to AI models that are capable of producing visuals and engaging in substantive conversations. So, however, Meta has recently unveiled Llama 3.1, the largest and most superior open-source AI model to date. This AI model is revolutionary. It's not simply another one. Llama 3.1 is poised to transform our relationship with technology, surpassing the performance of some of the most well-known AI models, such as OpenAI's GPT-40. Stay tuned as we go into the details of what makes Llama 3.1 unique and the reasons why we should be excited about this breakthrough. Key Features of Llama 3.1 Meta's latest and finest open-source AI model, Llama 3.1, has just been released and it's already making waves. Even Mark Zuckerberg predicts that this will soon outperform ChatGPT in terms of usage. Meta's most recent and sophisticated AI model, Llama 3.1, has an astounding 405 billion parameters. To put things into perspective, Compared to many of its modern competitors as well as its predecessors, it is noticeably more capable and complicated. This model offers features that were previously only found in science fiction, pushing the limits of what AI is capable of. Meta teased us with something big back in April, an open-source AI model capable of competing with the best private models on the market, such as OpenAI. The wait is over, and we can finally meet Llama 3.1, the world's largest open-source AI model. According to Meta, it's surpassing numerous well-known companies, including GPT-4 and Claude 3.5, on multiple benchmarks. Furthermore, some nations and languages may now access Meta's AI Assistant, which is powered by Llama 3.1 and capable of creating images based on a person's likeness. Next Level Tech Llama 3.1 is not just a minor upgrade. With 405 billion parameters and more than 16,000 high-end H100 GPUs from NVIDIA, this version is enormous. Because of its extensive training, Llama 3.1 outperforms even some of the most well-known proprietary models in the market and performs well across a wide range of benchmarks. How much did it cost to develop? Although Meta is keeping things under cover, those GPUs can cost hundreds of millions of dollars. So why is Meta giving it away? According to Zuckerberg, Open-source AI models are the way of the future, much as Linux transformed the computer industry by becoming the standard operating system. He thinks Llama 3.1 is going to revolutionize everything and that most developers will start using open-source tools. To assist in the release of Llama 3.1, Meta has partnered with well-known companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Google, NVIDIA, and Databricks. It's also cost-effective, with Meta claiming it costs about half as much as running OpenAI's GPT-4, open source. As I mentioned earlier, they're releasing the model weight so that businesses may train it on their own data and customize it to their specifications. For example, Microsoft's contribution allows Llama 3.1 to be linked with Azure, giving developers scalable cloud infrastructure for supporting their AI applications. Similarly, cooperation with Amazon and Google also ensures that Llama 3.1 is compatible with a variety of cloud platforms, making it available to a wide range of users. Accessibility Of course, Meta isn't saying much about the training data for Llama 3.1. To improve the model, they employed synthetic data, a technique that is quickly gaining traction. Artificial intelligence models develop synthetic data as opposed to traditional training data, which is generated by humans. One of the many benefits of this strategy is that it can provide vast quantities of high-quality, diversified data without being limited by the limitations of human data collecting. Vice President of Generative AI at Meta, Ahmad Al-Dawal, believes that Llama 3.1 is an important tool for developers, particularly as a teacher for smaller models. It's interesting to note that Meta has accelerated testing for Llama 3.1, covering possible applications in biochemical and cybersecurity. To find potential flaws and misuse scenarios, the model has undergone intensive adversarial testing, commonly referred to as red teaming. Applications, Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp are all connected with Meta's AI Assistant, which is powered by Llama. It will first be available in the United States through WhatsApp and the Meta.ai website, with additional languages coming soon. With Llama 3.1, Meta's AI Assistant can provide more accurate and engaging interactions, improving the user experience across these platforms. However, 
the advanced $405 billion parameter model will switch to a smaller $70 billion version after a certain number of prompts to keep costs down. Another great addition is Imagine Me. It is a fantastic new tool that uses your phone's camera to create images of your likeness. The goal of this strategy is to safeguard user privacy and prevent the creation of deepfakes. For Quest headset users, Meta Eti will replace the voice command interface, making it even more engaging. Although ChatGPT has 100 million users, Zuckerberg believes that Meta AI will overtake it as the most used chatbot by the end of this year. However, Meta has not yet disclosed usage statistics. Finally, in spite of all the excitement, it's evident that the AI race is only getting started, and Meta is determined to win it. As we've seen, Llama 3.1's release represents a significant advancement in the field of artificial intelligence. With its cutting-edge features, economical design, open-source nature, and potential industry impact, Llama 3.1 marks a new chapter in AI innovation. This is only the start. So what are your thoughts about today's video? Don't forget to leave all of them in the comments section below.